sit in order. By jury numbers, two, three, four, and so on. If that's okay with you, gentlemen? I'm trying to do this show for about the last, I don't know, 15 years. And I, there's so few dramas that we can do that people that have a name interest that will get the audience, hopefully get the audience members in. So that that's the that's the main reason. And where else can you get twelve guys just to hang out, hang out, and be able to go out and have a beer on Friday night? His mother dead since he was nine. He spent a year and a half in an orphanage. Well, his father served a jail term for forgery. It's not a very good head start. Well, I think even though the year is different. Um, Juries are deciding cases like this across the country every single day. Um, personally, I, I'm a prosecutor and Mr. Renzi here is actually a defense attorney. So uh, for us, it's very relevant because we actually get to see what goes on on the other side of that wall while juries are deliberating. What's he talking about? Ignorance? What, what, you think you have a monopoly on the truth? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you making a federal case out of here, Mr. Well, I <laughs> think certain things should be pointed out to this man. All right. It's these people, the way they bring their kids up there, it's not one of You learn about stuff like this in school, you learn about trials, you learn about guilt beyond a reasonable doubt and the presumption of innocence. This kind of gives them an inside look as to actually what goes on. And in, especially us, when we talk to juries after they deliberate and reach a verdict, this is the kind of stuff that goes on. I mean, there are arguments. You can, you can hear them outside of that door. And I think it gives them a look into something that they may have to do someday. The Drama Group, bringing Broadway to the South Suburbs since 1931.